Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Alter Ego beer. Um, this one is called Barrel Aged Urban Peaked and this is a chocolate, almond and honey imperial stout at 10 whole percent and it's all there on the front and then percentage is just there on the back. This one I also, where did I get this from? I think I got this from Priest Town. I can't really remember now. It's getting to a point where I don't remember where I'm buying this, these beers because I've got about three or four different places I get them from, so I don't really pay attention anymore. Anyway, probably cost me about £7, something like seven eight pounds 10 percent it's a 440 can, it's kind of what you're paying. But anyway, um, some guff on the back. As usual, it says, We took our collaboration with Urban Chicken and aged it for nine months in a Heaven Hill bourbon barrel to create a luxurious imperial stout inspired by one of our favourite chocolate bars. I'm going to take a guess in a minute at what it is. But um, apparently they've made this before and it was... Yeah, this is the barrel-aged version of it. So, yeah. I've only ever had one Alter Ego beer before and that was the small fire barrel aged beer that one i thought was really really nice i really really enjoyed that one um so i'm kind of looking forward to this one seeing what i get so without further ado let's crack it open and see what we've got uh this is not a vegan beer unfortunately it does have lactose in oh god there we go um yeah it does have lactose in so that's a bit unfortunate but you know some beers do some beers don't that's why uh, I review them, so that way you don't pick them up and realise you've wasted your money. They're not. Anyway, so there's the beer. There's a bit of carb clung to that glass there. But we got ourselves a yeah jet black beer uh, with a nice tanned head. It's compact in places and then quite loose in others, so it's kind of a foamy head, I guess. But yeah, looks really, really nice. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Oh, that's really, really nutty. Um, almondy. Yeah, it's it's almonds and it, it's almost nutty and very, very... Roasted malts and almonds. Not getting that chocolate. I'm not getting that honey. Uh, I might need to let it settle a little longer. But at the minute, I am just getting almonds and roasted malts. I mean, it smells nice, but I was kind of expecting a bit of honey or a bit of chocolate in there as well, but I'm just not getting it. It's still, like I say, it does smell good so far. Um, it's just almonds and roasted malts. Um, let's get a mouthful for budding carb, shall we? Carb is really, really light, really, really fine. Body, medium to full, pretty much a full body there. That's quite smooth, that quite um, creamy, velvety, very easy to drink. It's gonna be all taste. Cheers. Tastes a lot better than it smells. Um, taste does have the chocolate, does have the honey, and it has everything else that it says. So that's a good um, start. Um, first thing with this beer, it's very, very nice. It's But it, feel, it feels encased in the barrel age. So it starts off and you get this oak, the, the Heaven Hill barrels, basically. Uh, you get the, the sort of whiskey, bourbon? Bourbon. But you get that bourbon taste. Uh, it, it's not very, it doesn't stay long, if you will. It doesn't linger, it's quite a quick fade. Uh, that goes into roasted malts, dark chocolate. Uh, that moves into milk chocolate. Almonds, they're pretty much throughout the beer. Uh, and your honey's like a sort of sweet finish. And then to actually finish it off is the Heaven Hill bourbon barrel again. So it's it's kind of encased in this Heaven Hill flavour. Um, starts off with it and finishes it. And then everything else in between is just stuck between the two it's very very nice uh, 
on me. Not overly sweet, uh, but not overly rich and bitter either. It is really sat in the middle between that rich, bitter flavour and the sweet, sugary, chocolatey, honey flavour. It is sat really well in the middle. The yeah, it's it's not overly bitter, not overly rich, not overly sweet, and yeah, overly sweet. It's 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 it is really well um, done in in the middle. Really well balanced. 10%? Am I getting any of that? There's a little little tingle on the tongue, but that quickly disappears, that. That really does just fade pretty quickly. Um, yeah, that's not a lingering 10%, that. That alcohol is very, very well hidden, like I say. Get that little tingle on the tongue, then it goes. Um, you can taste the bourbon, you can taste the, the barrel that it's in. That's its own flavour. That's just throughout. The actual barrel itself is throughout the, the flavour, but it starts and finishes with a bourbon flavour, if you will. Um, but yeah, everyone else in between. It's fantastic. I really like this. Um, I personally think this one's better than Small Fire. Is that what they're called? Marshmallow. The other one that I had. The Imperial Marshmallow. Uh, pardon me. Um, barrel aged one. I think this one's a lot better. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's not overly dark and rich and bitter. It's, like I say, nice balance between the two. I thoroughly enjoy this one. Um, I think with that I'm going to go away and, and enjoy it because... 10%. 10% shouldn't be choked on camera because I'm not an idiot. That's big boy numbers. Um, so, yeah. Not much else to say. Very, very nice beer. I'm very impressed so far with Alter Ego and what they're doing. Bearing in mind, I have had only barrel aged stuff, and barrel aged stuff does tend to get better. Or just does tend to be really nice anyway, so I am bearing that in mind. This is not the standard stuff. This is nine months in heaven hill so a bit of time has been put to this but i'm gonna have to get myself some standard um alter ego and just see what they're like um without being barrel aged or without collabs because i like this so i've got a feeling i'll probably like them anyway but yeah uh like i said i'm gonna go away and enjoy it so um alter ego the barrel aged urban peat a collaboration with urban chicken ales out of 10, I think I'm going to give it another sip. <clears throat> and give that the full 10 out of 10. I really, really like it. I think it's perfectly balanced as it as as a beer can be. It's very, very nice. It'll probably, I think, fit up there in my top 10 beers now. Because it's just well done. Um, so... Yeah, uh, 10 out of 10, very, very nice beer. If you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Alter Ego's website down below. I'll try and find Urban Chicken's website as well and leave them down below. See if you want either of them. I'm going to have to find them now because that's another brew I've never had before. So I'm going to have to give them a go, see what they're like. It's a whole process to it. But, yeah, um, links will be down below for the appropriate places. If you like the video though, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.